those are my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Y2. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we defeated Elite Four Grimsley, the Dark Type Master, and today we are going to continue on to the third room and seeing what challenges lie ahead of us. Ooh, this glitter. You know, one of the most annoying things in the world is glitter. Without a doubt, have you ever just gotten glitter on you? I swear, if you get it on you, you are never able to get that crap off. Like, it will stay on you for life. It seems like there's a... What the heck is that up ahead? Um, but let's go ahead and take on this Elite Four member. It's me who appeared when the flower opened up. You standing over there. You look like a Pokemon trainer with strength and kindness. When I look for in my opponent is superb strength. I'm counting on you. Here we go, Rodri versus Elite Four Caitlyn, the Psychic Type Master. Let's go ahead and do this, guys. This battle's on its way. We are challenged by Elite Four Caitlyn. And now she's going to send out Musharna. And I've gone ahead and put Mirth up in front. A lot of you guys suggested either to send out Mirth or Barky. I thought Mirth would be a pretty good choice at this point because Mirth does have the move Crunch. And uh, I think Mirth's also a pretty strong Pokemon on our team that needs to get used a little more. No, 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 no. Musharna, don't you dare put us to sleep. Seriously. I have a feeling this battle will give my Pokemon a chance to go all out. I am going to go for another Crunch. Um, I know that the Yawn is probably going to put us to sleep at this point. Um, if anything... Yes, if... Oh, mother fudge. Okay. So, Mirth is asleep. I am actually going to go ahead and use a full heal because I'm guessing Musharna is probably going to get hyper full push and full restored is what I meant to say. Um, yes, exactly. Full restored. Now, will the Dragon Claw actually do more on the Musharna? I'm wondering. Um, you know what? We could always just give it a shot. Ooh, the Hyper Beam too. I'm kind of saving the Hyper Beams though. We only have five of them. So, I'm kind of hoping to use them when we really, really need them at this point. Um, the Dragon Claw actually didn't do as much as I thought it would. Um, and it's just going to keep using the Yawn on us. I'm going to go for another Crunch then. You know, I'm kind of even hoping for a crit here. Not on us, but but a crit on this Musharna. Oh, super effective. No, 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 no. Because, mother fudge. Why do you keep putting me to sleep? Seriously, stop that. We're sitting here in the middle of battle. Have you ever thought about that? If Pokemon battling was real, how weird would it be to have, like, a Pokemon fall asleep? You're just sitting there. You know, you're battling the other trainer. Then all of a sudden, they use Yawn on your Pokemon, right? Your Pokemon falls asleep. Then you're just sitting there awkwardly like, all right, well, uh, I, I hope you wake up soon. Like, please wake up. Uh, you kind of need to use a move here. Hey, what's up? Wake up. Hello? Uh, Mirth, wake up. You, are you going to battle today? Uh, I don't know. I just think it'd be kind of hilarious to see your Pokemon fall asleep in the middle of battle. Then you'd just be like, well, this is cool. Um, fun times, fun times. Mother fudge. This thing has ice beam. Ah, crap. Okay, I didn't see that coming. Ouch! Wow! Alright, Barky. Wow! I did not think Sigilyph would have... Ouch! Okay, that is our first Pokemon down here in the Elite Four. Um, thank goodness we have Barky ready for the crunch. Barky should be able to clean up the rest, but dang! I did not expect that Ice Beam to come out. Uh, I, I should have been aware of that. Wow! Uh, this is going to be a little bit tougher than I thought then. Let's go uh, take down this Ryu Nicholas. I think... Oh, uh, yeah, the crunch should, should do good. I mean, Barky, uh, Barky should be good for now. Um, at, at least I'm, that's what I'm hoping for. Unless all of a sudden this thing is a water type and starts just, you know, knocking the crap out of us. That's that's when it'll get real fun. Uh, let's go for another crunch. I think we got pretty much all of Caitlyn's full restores. I don't know how many she has. Um, it's either one or two, and I am unsure if she'll actually use the second one here in this battle. Um... How does that happen? We had more than half of our HP. Mother fudge. Are you serious? All right, Aza. Come on out. Um, we do have some ghost type moves, which are going to be pretty effective on the psychic types. So I'm going to go for the shadow ball then. Um, and that should pretty much take down this Pokemon. Uh, there we go. Ryu Nicholas is down. And then let's see what's coming out next. Hopefully, it's something that we can take on. Because I'm actually getting a little bit nervous here. Gothitelle. Okay. Okay. Okay, I, I feel pretty good going up against Gothitelle. So I like to tell myself once in a while, I, I'm actually nervous. I can't believe it's come to this. I must have gotten complacent. Let's go for the Shadow Ball then. Uh, do a ton of damage, please. Like, KO it. Hopefully do a lot. And yeah, that did about half. Perfect. And the special defense fell. No, you have a berry. Really? Come on. You're an Elite Four Pokemon. Oh, man. This thing's trying to go on a sweep. I feel you. I feel you. Use that Calm Mind. To the best of your abilities. You know, once in a while, you just got to get out there and you got to you gotta calm your mind. Um, I feel you. Before I go into a battle, 
a real life Pokemon battle, I like to calm my mind as well. I like to relax a little bit, really think what I'm going to be going up against, you know, decide how I'm going to take on things. Oh, that's it. I'll go all over the get to would win. All right, let's go for the Shadow Ball. That's going to take down the Gothitelle. And with that, guys, we have took down Caitlyn's fourth and final Pokemon. Woo! Thank goodness. That actually turned into a bit of a tougher battle um, than I expected it to be. But at least Aza grew some levels. Ace Rose also getting steroided. We defeated Elite Four Caitlyn. You and your Pokemon are both excellent and elegant. To have been able to battle against such a splendid team, my Pokemon online learned a lot. I offer you my thanks. We got 69-60 for winning. You haven't faced all of the members of the Elite Four yet, have you? Don't concern yourself about me. Go on ahead. Winning is important, but what's more important is whether I've done better this time. Because if I can't surpass myself, I can't get close to my ideals. I want to improve and win more elegantly, so I invite you to be my opponent again in the future, if you wish. Thank you, Caitlyn. We'll definitely keep that offer in mind. She says we'll have to come back and be her opponent in the future. And I think in the future, we probably will face her once again. All right, guys. So we've done quite good. We took down the psychic type. We've took down the dark and the ghost. Next up, we'll be making our way into the fourth room. So if you guys have any tips, let me know. Three Elite Four members down, one more to go. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.